So, uh, yeah, I need to apologise to everyone before I start. Um, I've got a terrible hangover. Um, I didn't go out last night, I just got this to the room. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, hi. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all? We all alright, yes? Yeah. Did uh, we enjoy Adam? Yes? He was yeah. very good. Very good, very good, very good. Um, uh, my name is Tommy Carlo. I've been in Standard Comedy now for about nearly three years now. Um, it's good. In um, my spare time, I'm a football coach. <laughs> Don't worry, it's funny. <laughs> I see myself as a good football coach. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were getting beat 15 and a half time. <laughs> and I was fuming at the lads, like, but the lads are sound, and I go out with them all the time, and it's all right, and whatever. And they were getting beat, so I was flipping on them. And some of the lads on the other team went, shut up, fatty. So I said, who the fuck are you talking to, you little shit? So I punched them. <laughs> and then two of his mates come over and I fucking kick them. Three more come over and I got one of them in that arm bar because I'm a mixed martial artist. And <laughs> Chicken them. <laughs> and then the last four come over and I just, yeah, I just fucking went west and then, yeah, 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 I was on one treadmill, and Debbie, she was on the other treadmill. Mine wasn't going, I was just standing there. The same problem there as well, he's on a fucking nightmare. Um, <laughs> I said to Debbie, Hi, yeah. She looked at me and she said, um. and I said, Do you want to have fun? She said, Oh. And then I said, but I've got the F and the N. All I need is you. Oh. I just laughed at a fart, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, I asked her to go on a date and she agreed to go on a date with me. I was really nervous to where to take her on a date because I haven't been on many dates before. I'd only been on one and that was with my dad. Oh. Um, he's in prison now. <laughs> So I was thinking about some fancy restaurants I could take Debbie in Liverpool Town Centre. You know, like Safe House or Living Rooms or The Crown. <laughs> so we went to the 80s. <laughs> and uh, as you know, it's two meals for the five, isn't it? So I spent 20 quid. <laughs> a slow burn on that one. A bit like myself. <laughs> So yeah, the day went well and it was nice and um, we moved in together after two days. <laughs> and, um, it was nice, uh, it was good to start, but she started getting a bit moody with me and she was doing horrible things in the end, like she was just doing dead horrible things. Do you want to share them with you? Yeah. 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 They are quite sick things, like yeah. these guys. Yeah. Alright, so um, like, I can't wait really, for office right? and then. Um, she died in my shirt, right, for work. She wouldn't mind the sleeves, right? When I go to work, people would go fatty grease sleeves. <laughs> this is the sickest thing now. Oh, fucking hell. One time she made me beans on toast, right? Wait, oh. With one fucking piece of toast. <laughs> but, um, Debbie's on holiday at the moment, um, with the girls. And, um, she loves cats, Debbie. She loves, she's a cat lover. 
Yeah. You like there goes the back? Yeah. Oh, you drive me off? Oh, yeah. No, seriously, the Saturdays? <laughs> Except for you, they look like a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Debbie's a cat lover, and um, she went moldy and she asked me to mind the cat and she asked me to mind the mum as well, I almost said old. So, <laughs> so yes, I minded the cat and the mum while she's moldy and she rang me today and she said, Hey babe, uh, how's the cat? I said, it's dead. <laughs> and she said, really? I said, yeah, it's dead. She said, fucking hell, tell me, you could have been a bit more sympathetic about it, you know. Could have explained how it died, like it climbed up on the roof and then died peacefully. I said, no, it's dead. And then she said, oh, fucking hell. She said, how's my mum? I said, oh, she climbed up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and then she shit herself. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. Uh, yeah, so, that was a bit of cheap life, wasn't it? <laughs> So yeah, um, I was on the bus not long ago. See, now that he was having a nightmare as well. And I, was the, I was on the bus and uh, I just finished work and I was, I was pissed off. I finished work and I was pissed off basically. And this woman got on in Queen Square. I'm talking Liverpool, she's off in Liverpool. It's a bus station in Liverpool. She got on and she had loads of bags of shopping. And she gets on the bus and I'm sitting just there by the driver, the seat there. And she gets on, she puts all the bags where the bags go. And then she's on the journey, whatever. And about five minutes later, she gets off and she's on the phone and she gets off the bus and she forgets her bags, right? And I've seen this. And um, the bus has stopped at the lights and the woman's still on the phone. I'm looking around and I should have said something about it. But she gets off the phone and she realises that she's forgot her bags. So she runs up at the side and the bus <laughs> lights are going on green and she runs and she makes eye contact with me and she says, Stop. Oh, shit. Left me shopping. And I just looked at her and I went. <laughs> and the bus stole off. Now, some of you are thinking, you're a dickhead for doing that. But I've seen a box of chicken Kievs and I was. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, nights out that we have. Um, as I said before, uh, it's not under seven team, I've got it, uh, it's an open age team. Uh, we go out all the time, the lads, it's, it's a laugh and that. We went out on Friday, just gone with the boys and uh, it was good. Um, but it, it's, there was a bit of arguments and fighting, because we went out with about 15 of us and um, Dave, this is Dave, Dave's like, um, looks like um, me, but skinny and right. <laughs> so he doesn't get any beds, right? And, um, and he kissed the bird, right? <laughs> and everyone was like taking the piss out of him and taking photographs of it. And, um, <laughs> and Mike, he's like, he's quite a good looking lad and that. And he went a bit too far, and And then after he blacked the girl, he, they kissed, which is naughty. And um, they were arguing in the street, and um, they were going to have a fight. And the police come over and they grabbed Mike by the scruff and he's only a little lad. And after we threw him up against the wall of police, and I walked over and said, listen mate, you can't do that. And he went, who are you? He said, you look like Team Windass, fuck off. Like that, right? He actually did, which was not nice. So he said, don't talk to me like that. And then there's this other fellow and he's just smirking. And I said, who the fuck are you looking at as well? So the police grab me. And they march me up the street and they throw me against the van. And he starts searching. He said, uh, you see him up and down, mate. I'm going to search you for the Drugs Act, uh, Act 23 or something like that. I said, go ahead, mate. It's quite not on me. And he said, don't worry, mate. We'll find something. So I said, go on, go on, find something. So they're searching me. And I don't find that like, I'm fucking playing with my tits and that. If you fancy me, to be honest. But, uh, he starts searching me and patting me down, and he's going, oh, you're feeling bad, I see you, mate. And he's whispering to me, you fat cunt. Honest, it's a serious story. And I'm going, oh, mate, turn me on, to be honest. And then he just, just had that, had that crash, and he was getting a bit too confident then. Next minute, he puts his hand in me, coat pocket. And he finds a piece of tinfoil with paper wrapped around it. And I thought, shit, he's planted me. You know what I mean? It's a big, scary story, don't laugh. You know what I mean? I sobered up straight away. I thought, shit, being a bit cocky. And he said at the start, 
Uh, we don't worry, we'll find sort of thoughts on my God, you know what I mean? So um, he opens it up and he goes, oh, what's this then, mate? <laughs> he opened it up and it was a fucking Kit Kat wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> I got him back though because I said check the other puff in, he put his hand on his puff and he was a pack of fucking pork scratching. Man. <laughs> fucking grass. <laughs> I'll tell you a little story before I go. Um, me and Debbie went on holiday. Uh, after all that, we had our differences now. We made us went on holiday. That's funny. <laughs> Shouldn't drink on an empty head, you know, love. <laughs> so yeah, so we went to Spain. We went to Spain and we got off we got off the plane, we went to Spain. Sound like a song then. Oh, we went to Spain, got off the plane. <laughs> See pain was there. Sometimes I think of a rap, you know. Um, anyway. So now we got off the plane oh, so that's, it's two Spanish police officers approached me right. And he said, uh, hola, hola, you know, something like that. Um, <laughs> that makes us do <laughs> uh, He takes me into this room and he starts searching me for drugs right again. I'm thinking, oh, well, what's happened to me again? So he's searching me now and he doesn't find anything like. And then he, he starts searching me. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> and he starts, you know, he starts. Fingering me, right? Sorry. He starts fingering me, yeah, and like searching for drugs. And he never found anything, he just found a Kit Kat. Um, <laughs> so we didn't find anything, and then I walked out, and I walked out like that, and walked out like this. Just one anyway, but uh, I walked out, and then um, Debbie goes, What happened then? I said, Nothing, nothing, uh, just asked me a few questions, and I said, I'm just gonna balance, you know, get a finger, the better. And he likes it. Any lads have never even fingered before? <laughs> no, it's embarrassing, you know what I mean? So she said, what happened then? I said, no, only asked me a few questions. And she said, ah, uh, you got fingered, didn't you? I said, no. <laughs> she said, no, I never got fingered. And she went, ah, you got fingered. I said, I never got fingered, right? Like. <laughs> and then she started singing this little song, it's only got fingered, it's only got, I said, I never got fingered, right? Like. <laughs> I started crying. <laughs> And I said, all right, I've got finger now, did you know? And she said, well, I rang the, the Spanish police before we come and I told them that you had carrying a package of your book. <laughs> and I said, why the fuck would you do that? She said, that's for killing me, cat, you fat bastard. <laughs> He's one of the great headline acts, so stick around. Uh, I've been Tommy Carroll and he's been lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs>